setting this up, um, I first want to thank the community for being here. And where's Pam? Pam knows she spent a lot of her career to try to get Tuckalo Village off the ground. And the goal was to have this be a community space activated by people. So thank you for being here. I want to thank Action Tuckalo for their work. Um, and then I want to acknowledge fellow council member Zachary Down, who's right there in the back. And then there are candidates for council, one for the city of Seattle and one for City of Tequila. So, City of Seattle is Chris Cabrero. <laughs> and City of Tequila is Cynthia Nielstrinos. Um, Sorry, give me a second. No, it's okay. You're, you're looking at my favorite New Yorker cartoon. Yeah. So I want to say thank you, Sarah. Sarah.
It began on a little island in Charleston, South Carolina, called Jeff Paul Turner's Island. My grandmother, to the left. My grandfather, to the right. Both from an island known for Gullah and Geechee people. Those are my people. Geechee is short for Ogeechee River in Savannah, Georgia. And if you didn't know, Savannah is where they brought slaves. Gullah is the language born out of slavery where West and Central Africans were enslaved together. So to communicate, they created a language. It's based with a mix of English, West and Central African languages. Gola, short for Gola, or Angle, known for such rivers as the Dande, Pukomo, and Zambezi rivers, where my ancient ancestors flourished before slavery. There's Congo. Governor in Washington State in 1969 
and he later became the Assistant Labor Secretary of Employment Sanders, where he drafted for a production. And there's an amazing Seattle Times article where Governor Dan Evans uh, said and he had this plot to have Arthur, Arthur Fletcher be the first African American governor since Reconstruction. Because like Rivers, he could bridge the divide and among the racial groups. Arthur is known for coining the phrase, a mind is a terrible thing to lose. And the irony of that was in my college years, I went to Morehouse. I went to Morehouse on a United Negro College. And you know what the tagline is? A mind is a terrible thing. Clementine Bradham and Arthur Simmons, they together had a child. My soul has grown deep like rivers. I've known rivers like the Duwamish and Black Rivers, where the earliest people gathered Duwamish people. They flourished by the Black and Duwamish River, where hazelnut trees took up more space than the current invasive species of black bears. It's where in 1851, the river supported the earliest pioneers, Luther and Diane Collins, who were later joined by Joseph Austin. Back then, it was actually known as a place for crossing roads. And that was before I-5 and 405. It was the crossroads of the Black and Duwamish Rivers and associated trails. The river's vibrancy gave way to a bounty of food from fish and farms. It supported a community that one day would become a place of diverse peoples and commerce. And now, I hear my grandparents speak to me in the language of my ancestors. Serve others. Leave things better than when you found them. I hear them say, although your career of service may take twists and turns, be a river always in motion, looking down further, down. I hear my ancestors say, we had many rivers to cross, and so shall you. They say, life is a journey, and a river is not. And now, I hear the river singing, do your part 
for the seven generations that will come behind you. Raise your children to give back. Get back to the river that gave us all so much. Raise your children to know a river picks its own path as they also go pick their own path in life. Support them like the river. See the promise of tomorrow through their eyes of the next generation and act. A river is a lifeline, like veins are to, to a heart. It's all up to us so that the seven generations can say they know rivers, ancient, dusty rivers.